Jude Bellingham to Real Madrid is almost a here we go. Confirmed by many, many sources, including Fabrizio Romano himself. So, in this video, we're going to just double check on reactions on social media and let us know in the comment section down below what do you think about this transfer. Do you think that he made the right decision here or do you think it's not? <laughs> Anyways, for a player of his quality, joining Real Madrid looks like uh, the right decision to make, you know? So, looks like uh, Real Madrid are trying to create another Modric Casemiro and uh, and cross kind of midfield. You know what I mean? Kamavinga, Chouameni, and Jude Bellingham. Wow. They are thinking ahead of time here, right? <laughs> when the magic trio is gone and then they got the new one. So as you can tell here, it's just, um, it's just gonna be announced very, very soon. So, Jude Bellingham has already told some of his Dortmund friends that he's leaving. Blah, 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 blah. Extra Madrid here said that Manchester City offered more money than Jude Bellingham, but the player close to Real Madrid. Blah, 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 blah. Those are the kind of news that will always be there just to make it look like he chose Real Madrid because of, you know, love and not for money. That's... Uh, those kind of news i don't really trust that of uh, uh that much jude bellingham has already started chatting with real madrid players all right all right expected oh, so is this a good choice or a bad choice let us know <clears throat> real madrid friends here oh wait 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 so the price is gonna be around 100 to 120 million. Don't Moon always does uh, a good business. You know, they buy cheap and they sell expensive and they go again on the market. They target another another bowler and they develop that bowler and that that is a very good uh, kind of uh, business model. And who's gonna replace Jude Bellingham at Don't Moon? Conor Gallagher is wanted by Dortmund. Charlie Webster, also from Chelsea Football Club, is gonna uh, is somebody that uh, Dortmund been checking for a while. So I'm not gonna be surprised if it's gonna be somebody from Chelsea that will replace Jude Bellingham over there, and they're gonna develop him and after a couple of years sell him for 100 million, and Chelsea would start fighting to to buy their own player <laughs> they can't develop but they always want to spend a lot of money so i think this is a good choice for him uh i didn't want him to come to england because he was going to destroy the competition play for your opposition <laughs> uh, so yeah just wanted to read some uh, some of the comments here so the i think if fabrizio romano is the guy who started all this and other people kind of copy paste all right let's read this one from chelsea's transfer real madrid is close to completing the signing of jude bellingham for the next season and the total fee is expected to be between 100 to 100 million this is that this was like a month ago according to the times jude bellingham now has suitors in real madrid and and manchester city chelsea and and paris saint germain ah that that was an odd article but it was it was never going to be chelsea man the way they are at the moment the way they are struggling at the moment i don't think any top top player is gonna accept to come to chelsea unless if you pay a king ransom chelsea need to sort out many many things before even even thinking about it 
Okay, so this was from Fabrizio Romano. Real Madrid are close to complete the deal of signing Jude Bellingham confirmed. Negotiations are progressing to the final stages. Personal terms are almost agreed. Juni Calafat, crucial again. So this Juni guy is uh, the transfer guru over there at Real Madrid. He's in charge of, you know, big, big deals. New meetings has been scheduled to complete the agreement with Borussia Dortmund. Yeah. So it looks like uh, this is it. This is it, people. This is it. Um, apparently, City wanted him, but he didn't wanna. <laughs> he didn't wanna go to City. He wanted just to go straight to Real Madrid. And I think in a couple of seasons from now, Erling Haaland is gonna join him at Real, and uh, and it's gonna be a hell of a team, man. A hell of a team. Haaland, Bellingham. So let me know who is going to replace Bellingham at Dortmund. All right. This is it. So now we have to move to other target now. <laughs> we have to move to other target. All right. All right. Yeah, it's the same. People are just repeating the same over and over and over again. Uh, if we have to finish this uh, this video by talking about Leo Messi, okay? Paris Saint Germain consider Messi suspension already valid starting from today. Include group training sessions, games uh, for the next two weeks. That means until the end of the season, literally, because the season is gonna end in few weeks from now. Messi doesn't really give a damn on this one because he is going somewhere else, going back to Barcelona or to Saudi or to the MLS. He just don't feel anything about Paris at the moment. So this is just a waste of time. But they wanted to send a message that if we can suspend Messi, nobody is bigger than the club because he went to Saudi without asking any permission from the team. So I think they just wanted to set an example to say, if you try this, we're going to punish you. They didn't really mean it, but they wanted to send a message. And they also know that Messi is, gonna renew, is not going to renew his contract. So let's just set, set an example. It wasn't professional though, because the game after that, they lost. <laughs> they lost heavily against Lorient, you know? So nobody really cares about PSG beside the money. Let me know what you think about Messi. Do you think that this is it? Messi is leaving to Saudi? What team do you think Messi is going to play next season? The GOAT. Probably he need to go there so they can make, um, let's say, the Galactico over there. Ronaldo against Messi. El, El Hilal against uh, El Nasr or El Nasser. Awesome, right? 